What's up guys? I just wanted to show you this truck real quick. It's the first truck I've ever done for this new company I'm working for. And I just wanted to show you how rough this truck is. Hope it's not a new trend, me driving rough trucks like this. This is a 2007 um, International. And they called it a cabin chassis. But here in a second, you'll see that there's a lot more to the chassis than what they said. And on this one, I went ahead and just put some tape over where it says propane and then, uh, you know, the other stuff because uh, I had to pass through one scale and I didn't want to be hassled because this truck is so rough. I didn't want them to give me a hard time. I mean, look at this fender. It's, it's pretty rough. I mean, look at the rust. pretty nasty truck they took the uh, I guess it was a propane tank off of it and I guess they're gonna put it on another truck because I'm supposed to take another truck that's just a cab and chassis without all these fenders and ragged truck boxes and all this other stuff back to uh, where I got this one and they're gonna I guess put the other stuff on it so the way I hooked to this one um, I hooked to it like it was a school bus so I made a video on how I hooked to a school bus and you guys could just refer to uh, that video and see how I uh, hooked to the frame I didn't hook to this big square steel tube it's up behind there I hooked to the frame and uh, I don't want to climb up underneath this nasty dirty bastard to show you all how I hooked to it so just refer to the uh, the bus video on how to hook to a bus so this truck box kind of gave me a hard time on the way here the place where I picked it up they said they brought me this bungee strap out and they're like you'll need this and I'm like really they said yeah for that truck box door keeps flying open I'll show you in a second so without the bungee strap this is what it would do It, it kind of sounded like Herman Munster's front door. But I bungee strapped it. The thing, it it made it here. That's all I could say. And I was lucky it did that. Yeah, this is the clean interior on this truck. Um, this is how I got it. The cigarette charger didn't work, so... I had to use my little baby jump pack and ran a wire up to my phone. And then when I got in this truck, this whole cushion would slide to one side like that. So then I had to hop up and down to get the thing up underneath my can. So I named this truck uh, Dung Beetle because it's a piece of shit that rolls down the road. But uh, anyway... That's the first load, man. First of many. So you all get out there and make some damn money. <laughs>